I wake up in the morning and frown at the sky. Another day to resist, a truth I cannot deny. Hope for breakfast, sorrow for lunch, and for supper we feed on grief. It's funny because as you sow shall you reap. Seeking refuge behind the blades of a thousand swords, your enemy's hope is only mended by a couple of words. Disgusting? Do you pity the life I'm living? This is the life of a man who survives for a living. My kind is a sign of imminent danger, but what if you know me? Am I still a stranger? This seclusion, I do not know how long it will last. I don't fear oblivion. I fear being an outcast. Lack of affection and scarcity of kindness, I guess we should move on because all we really want is to be somewhere we feel like we belong. I hope that my situation may soon abate. These people were taught not born to hate. And as the clock strikes noon, I'd smile, but it's still too soon. A pillar safe from a supposed operation of peace is where I lead. And I would have found comfort had it not been for the echoes of a muffled scream. We know the struggle to look for reason is something we can't help, but is it really worth it if you find reason? But lose yourself. They wait beside the path that I follow. You're deluded, your religion is just as shallow. I walk out of my masjid, start to hug and greet. These people's courage is what your words can never beat. evening, I carry the weight of those remarks in my heart. Those derogatory statements are what set my happiness apart. Sadly, our fears form our only fraternity. And what of the man whose beard earns him an identity? To the prettiest details that I can confine, what is this but a mere storybook of mine? Concentrating on the fast that I observe, who am I to determine if this is the fate I deserve? This battle of superiority is what I can never win. How can I, if what I call milestones are what you call sin? I succumb to my own mental wounds by nightfall. Physical ones, they hurt less and are curable. That's all.